Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm going to react to the newest character teaser of Genshin Impact, Yaimiko Kitsune's Affections. And it's been a while I am actually reacting to something Genshin Impact, but this was one thing that I like always wanted to react to. I reacted to Raiden Shogun like you know uh, character teaser as well. And since like you know I'm such a huge Honkai fan, Yaimiko was a definite like you know like what can I say like it was something that I always wanted to react to whenever her character teaser came out and it's finally here and yeah here I am <laughs> I'm going to react to this today so uh, I'm going to react to both the um, English and the JP version of the trailers one after the other and then I'll talk about it obviously because I am really fond of Yaimiko's um, you know uh, JP voice actor uh, like you know the person who does it like I'm accustomed to uh, hearing uh, uh, yai sakura's voice in uh, honkai so obviously like you know like i'm kind of accustomed to that that's why i'm going to react to the jp version as well but first i'm going to react to the english version so that i can, I can understand what they're saying and everything and then i'll react to the jp version so yeah let's get started i'll talk about everything after i've reacted to the um uh, teaser so yeah let's get started without wasting any more time and the links to the original videos will be in the des description box so here we go. Uh, character teaser Yaimiko Kitsune's affection. Uh, the English version first. Start. Oh, why do I feel like the standard of writing is going down by the day? Oh, well, is this Are my editors even doing their jobs? Huh? Ooh, this one's interesting. <laughs> I won't is... be bored out of my mind tonight after all. Wow. I love the Sakura petals, you know, like falling into the light novel and sake. Oh. Damn, that's a good combination. And some food. What do you think, Lady Guji? Erika's got some <laughs> wish she's eating. Mm, the fried tofu is cooked to perfection. Tender and juicy. <laughs> the kushikatsu are freshly made and the taste is quite to my liking. I'll take a few boxes worth to go, please. Okay. Wow, is fried tofu and kushikatsu. Lady Guji is this world's best editor, if you ask me. <gasps> She's a crafty fox who's always playing mind games. <laughs> told, Yaimiko is an upstanding shrine maiden. Hey, she said fox lady ate ramen with Ah, uh, she's time. like <sighs> personification of elegance. Wow. A few hundred years on, and the little girl that always wanted shoulder rides. Shoulder rides. Grown up. Wait, who's saying this? The human realm. All right. Okay, that was the English version. Wow. Now, before talking about this, I'm going to watch the JP version as well. Then I'll give my impressions. So here's the JP version reaction. Start. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to. Listening to her voice again, my god. <clears throat> ah, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you I, I love this portion the most where she kind of puts it in her mouth and kind of eats it like this like <laughs> look at her <laughs> the way she's chewing it wow okay I'm going to talk about this part the voice acting like when she's chewing it the way she's talking changes completely it's as if you have something in your mouth that's details like good job wow私に言わせれば、グージ様は世界一の編集者ですよ。人の心を持て遊ぶ悪気つれめ。正直に言って、彼女はとても優秀な巫女です。お、俺様と一緒にラーメン食った。必要なんじゃねえか。説を捕まえ
all right that was it Ooh, fantastic my god um just like i was expecting okay that's the end um so here we go like one thing that i oh boy like i have to say like you know give props to the details that they gave into this like um the time when uh, yaimiko was putting it like you know putting the food in her mouth um she was chewing it and talking with like obviously like if, when people put something in their mouth and chew it and talk you know while eating the voice kind of changes it kind of is like you know like you're chewing and talking at the same time they even gave uh, like you know that like you know that like detail they also kind of put into it like the way she is talking when she's chewing like this part where is it here you go this part um she was not eating it at that time like i think she kind of swallowed it but still it was like you know like you were chewing you were in the process of chewing a food and so the way you talk kind of becomes a little different and that's where the, what they show over here like wow they're really like you know good job like you know giving like you know uh, attention to the details like oh boy this is why i love jp uh, like you know voice acting like my god like i've been like you know, obviously i'm a huge anime fan what i've been watching anime for like eight or more years <laughs> so i've been pretty accustomed to jp voice acting and uh english voice acting is like you know pretty good as well but i heavily prefer jp voice acting especially in these type of like you know like in anime is situations whatever i don't know it's like a thing like you know whenever you see an anime character you're like oh the jp voice acting should be good and yeah definitely i'm, I'm so accustomed to jp voice acting now that it it, it seems like you know more um like you know uh, more uh what do you call it attractive to me so i i most of the time i, I kind of like you know uh, prefer jp voice acting and yeah here as well like i play genshin in jp My, i mean uh, the voice acting the voiceover is jp so yeah and obviously yaimiko's uh voice actor does such a great job um yaimiko and she's also like yai sakura in honkai impact now here's the thing i never really checked out who her voice actor is who is her voice actor yai sakura okay here we go yai sakura um the voice actor sakura ayane wait what her voice actor's name is also sakura <laughs> what <laughs> wow that's that's a huge coincidence what the hell um <laughs> okay sakura ayane um japanese voice actor actress um Sekre. Oh, wait, she's Sekre's voice actor in Black Clover? Okay. Ocha, wait, what? Uraraka? Wait, really? My god, what the? What? Okay, this is blowing my mind. She's Uraraka's voice actor. I never... How? How is she Uraraka's voice actor? I see no. Oh my god, what is. Iroha Ishiki from uh, my teen romantic comedy Snafu. Suzuka Dairenji Tokyo Ravens. Um, who else do I know here? Now Tomori from Charlotte, okay. Um, Gabi from Attack in Ta on Titan. You know what? I can probably hear Gabi a little bit in her. But I cannot. Like, it blew my mind that she actually did it Uraraka's voice acting in uh, My Hero Academia. You know what? If you kind of, like, you know, really strain and think about it, yeah, I, I can feel a little bit of that. Of, Ura, you know, Yaimiko's voice in Uraraka's voice. But still, you know, my god. Okay, this really blew my mind. What? <laughs> okay this is fantastic my god i never knew this this is the first time i was actually checking this out like my god <laughs> all right anyways um so yeah as i was saying her voice actress did does a, such an amazing job the way she kind of talks you know with the little um eh, what, do you, what do you call it i don't know what you actually call it but the ancient dialect you know like um the way she talks uh kind of like uh people used to talk before in japan i guess that's how they talked or like in a more elegant way 
so i love that i love that like you know little dialect that she does there and yeah it's it's great and <laughs> as they say like and as they show us in the trailer like she is kind of a crafty person and she's always kind of like you know like as we saw from the like you know, in Genshin Impact she kind of messes with people a little bit loves messing with people <laughs> and yeah like her like that type of like a playful personality and her being like the editor of the um the the light novel thing or whatever that she does <laughs> yai <Yeah>, publications <laughs> that thing as well like Wow, she's like she's she has like an she has everything like you know she kind of is like an editor of a light novel thing that's going on in Genshin Impact, and at the same time she is just you know like like eating loves eating food a little sake and just you know like hanging around playing tricks on <laughs> people like you know people close to her and uh, yeah that's her and uh, it's fantastic and. Well, definitely, like, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm sure, like, most of the people who play Honkai are definitely going to pull for her, me included, like, um, I have my stuff ready for her, <laughs> my primals and everything, so, yeah, it's great, like, she's finally here, like, she got introduced, I think, in, like, the beginning of 2.0 or something, I don't remember when she was introduced, and from then on, like, you know, from, from that day onwards, like, I was like, yeah, re I was ready, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to roll for her when she comes out. And she's finally here. And before she came, Raiden Shogun also came. So she was another hype character for me because Raiden made Raiden Shogun. So yeah, like I'm like this is like one thing for for me. Like me being such a big Honkai fanboy, like I am definitely going to roll for each and every character who is somehow like you know um I won't say related, but who is somehow kind of looks or like you know is is like taken from Honkai Impact, like taken uh what do you call it um their character design or whatever like for example Raiden Mei uh, Raiden Shogun here um, Yai uh, Sakurai is Yai Miko or Yai Guji here uh, I'm pretty sure Murata is also a character in Genshin who's going to come later on Murata and I'm pretty sure that's Murata Hineko from Honkai and uh, yeah she will also be one of my well, like you know what do you call it one of my targets and I'm not sure if there's any other Honkai impact uh, like you know the characters who are in Honkai Impact, those characters, if there's any other of them coming in the future. Oh, um, uh, the, the, I forgot her name. What was her name? The Unknown God. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to come, but probably in the end game. So, like, that's obviously Kiana from Honk uh, Honkai Impact. So, if she comes as a playable character, I'm also going to get try to get her. But that's, like, <laughs> way in the future. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm, I'll be playing this game up until that time. But... <laughs> yeah, but still, you know, like I'll I'll try my best to get all the characters who kind of resemble their you know self in Honkai. So yeah, yeah, Miko, I'm definitely getting her. So yeah, that was it. Fantastic trailer, you know, as always. And um, <laughs> yeah, she she looks she looks amazing. So that was it. Yeah, I'll keep it up till this. You know. Uh, that was it. Uh, that was my reaction to Yai Miko's trailer in Genshin Impact. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out and let also let me know if you're trying to, you know, when she comes out, if you'll try to get her, let me know in the comments. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.